Today, uh, we'll be talking about uh, bone marrow transplant in various cancers. So how, how is it helpful? How is it used to cure such deadly diseases? I'm Dr. Gaurav Kharia and I work as a clinical lead at Center for Bone Marrow Transplant and Cellular Therapy. So as we all know, certain diseases, certain cancers, especially the uh, blood cancers, okay, they are considered to be very high risk. Okay? And in high risk blood cancers, which are non-responsive to the routine chemotherapy agents, they are candidates for consolidation by bone marrow transplant. Now such cancers, the common cancers which need a bone marrow transplant uh, are like acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is very common in pediatric age group. Acute myeloid leukemia, which is very common in adults. There are certain rare forms of cancers such as juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, okay? Uh, MDS, myelodysplastic syndrome, that's also a precursor of, of uh, cancer, uh, blood cancer. So these are the blood cancers. There are certain other forms of cancers such as solid cancers, lymphomas, brain tumors, uh, certain high-risk brain, brain tumors. So all these forms of uh, cancers, whether they are blood cancers or they are solid tumors, they can be treated by bone marrow transplant. Bone marrow transplant, as we know, uh, is of two types. One is allogenic bone marrow transplant, where we need a donor which is primarily used for cancers such as blood cancer, whether it is ALL or AML, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia. Whereas the autologous transplant, where we use our own cells as a rescue, which is nowadays called as high-dose chemotherapy and autologous stem cell rescue, it is used primarily for solid tumors such as lymphomas, or uh, as I said, uh, uh, brain tumors, or in pediatric patients, neuroblastoma is a very common form of cancer, solid cancer, which can be treated by bone marrow transplant. So as we discussed, uh, majority of these illnesses can now a days uh, be very safely, very nicely treated by offering a bone marrow transplant, whether it is a allogenic bone marrow transplant or autologous bone marrow transplant. So my concluding message for today's uh, brief talk is that uh, whenever any patient who's, who's close to you, uh, in your knowledge, who's suffering from such life-threatening disorders like blood cancers or some solid tumors, uh, which can be cured by bone marrow transplant, just reassure them that there is a hope and this is not end of life. If you have any further questions, please uh, feel free to get back to us and post your comments and we'll get back to you with the answers. Thank you very much.